Okay, I'm uh, Chris Rook, uh, I'm the owner of this E-Type, it's an E-Type Series 2 fixed head coupe, 1969. This car was actually sable, sable actually means horrible chocolate brown, with a cinnamon interior, it's a Series 2, and basically I bought it and it was a complete wreck. I, well, when I say complete wreck, no, I bought it as a going car. Um, but I was basically hoodwinked and it was, uh, it was a mess, it, was, it had been given a cheap respray. It leaked all like a sieve, the handling was uh, lethal, the brakes didn't work, you know, it leaked, petrol leaked oil, the whole thing was a mess. So I toyed about with it for a couple of years and then I realised that if I wanted the car to be good, I was just chasing faults around the car. So the only thing I could do was to start again, It'd start from scratch, otherwise I'd just be chasing bits around. So, a couple of years after I bought it, I took the decision to do a complete, full restoration. So, I started that in uh, 1999, uh, stripped, it, stripped it all down uh, in my old house where I was then to a rolling chassis, stripped all the paint off, stripped all the interior out, all the doors and everything, right down just to the engine and rolling chassis. And then we, uh, we moved house and that was a real big, that was a big problem uh, because, you know, I'm, I'm trying to move a half strip car. But anyway, we managed to move to a house with no garage. Uh, so then the car just sat complete with paint stripped off the body, just in bits for two years while I sorted the house out and tried to get a garage, tried to get a garage built, which I eventually did. But after two years, it had been under wraps on the drive for two years. So after two years, I. I took the wraps off and it was just a, a rusting heap underneath because it had no protection or anything. So that was a bit of a, bit of a down point. But then a, a new body shell, well, a rebuilt body shell that someone had given up the restoration, but they, they just, they'd done a really good job on the body shell that came up for sale. So I bought the body shell and that really kick-started the, the restoration. And I then decided that if I was going to do it, I might as well do it properly, do the job once, do it properly. So. I reconditioned every single part of the car, whether it needed it or not. I've used stainless steel throughout. Every part is either plated, chromed or nickel plated or stainless steel or powder coated. Uh, the idea is it wouldn't rust and it'd look good. And so I embarked on that. I finished the body shell off. It actually had a Webasto sunroof fitted, the body shell when I bought it. And so I had to weld a new roof on and I had to finish uh, some, some bits, uh, I had to finish it before it was ready to spray. But I did that and then I rebuilt every part, the rear, I started off with the rear axle, completely rebuilt all that and then the uh, engine, I spent about three and a half thousand pounds just on parts for the engine, full, you know, balance, lightened and all new pistons, and, you know, the whole, the whole bit. And uh, then I had to do, I finished that, I finished the engine, then I did the suspension and the brakes and so on. It's basically standard, uh, I haven't really put any enhancements in just things like I put a new rear oil seal on uh, uh, to try and stop the rear oil seal leak. So then, you know, I've had everything, everything's chromed and, and then it's all finally back together. And that took me nine years uh, from start to finish, including the two years when I was off the road. It's got the standard engine, it's the original engine, and it's a 4.2 litre straight six engine with triple uh, SU carburetors, which is a standard, uh, standard spec for a British car. At this time, the American cars, unfortunately, had a different spec. They had only had twin uh, Stromberg carburetors because of the emissions. But all the British cars still had the spec for the Series 1s had, which is the triple, triple SUs, uh, straight six, 4.2 litre. Uh, brake horsepower, to be honest, I can't really remember. Uh, it's about, uh, I, gotta, I could guess, it's supposed to be about 235, but to be honest, I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not really up on that. All I can say is that I, I kept it standard. The only thing that I, that I, I changed was um, I don't run it with uh, the standard uh, air filters, so I just changed the uh, needles in the carburetors. But the idea was to have a, a very usable car, so it's not like highly tuned, and it's got amazing torque. And considering it does 150, you know, in standard spec, I thought, well, there's no point, you know, in trying to tune it up. I, you know, I want it for, for general runabout use and for continental touring, you know, mileage to the gallon, you know, 22 if you're lucky, 17 if you, you know, if you put your foot down. So I, I didn't want to tune it anymore. Uh, my best experience, I, I suppose, was 
my first drive because the trouble was I built it at home in a very small garage and when I finished it I couldn't actually drive it so the very you know to test it I, I could start the engine but but you know uh, the, the very first time I drove it was to take it to the MOT and uh, so I couldn't test it I had no idea if it was going to pass MOT because even though it obviously it looks nice and I've done it all but I didn't know if everything worked because I'd never driven it so that that, that was great the first time I actually got in it and I drove it down to the garage for the MOT and it was actually the garage where they'd sprayed the car and so they knew they knew I'd been doing it but obviously they hadn't seen it and I was and I drove down and, and I was and it was that was a fantastic drive just up it was one mile to the garage but it was just great to drive it and then when I got there I was a bit worried and but all the all the mechanics immediately down tools and came over and admired it and told me what a great job I'd done and as they were all like professional mechanics that that was a really good moment and it, and it passed the MOT obviously straight through and I've got an MOT certificate and it's got mileage one uh, you know and that that's, that's a really nice thing to have and so that was that was a great moment you know when I actually first drove it and found out that yes it did drive the brakes worked the steering worked you know the doors closed I mean it, you know because I built it all myself I didn't know if it was going to work and you know and it does and that that's great